Hi everyone, it's Franny, and I have a little bit of a confession to make. When I put the brakes back together on the 356 and was installing the pads, I got the springs in the wrong hole on one side of the pads, so I'm going to go back in tonight, tear them apart, and fix that. So that's up next on Heidi and Franny's Garage. Okay, so what I want to show you is I've got the manual here and I want to show you, I, if you remember the first video that I did, which I'll link in the, at the end of this video, uh, I took a picture with my camera and I was actually looking at a posting on the 356 registry website in their technical blog and somebody had posted a picture of their brake that they had put together. And I looked at it and I'm like, uh, there's something wrong. The spring's in the wrong spot. And then I thought about it for a second. I thought, you know, I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. So I went back to the manual and then back to my camera. And this is what I saw. Okay, a little hard to see here, but this is the front brake. And what I did wrong was this spring is correct on this end, but I connected this end of the spring up here at this hole here. So it needs to be connected on the second hole just above the uh, where it's attached. So here's my camera. Here's the image I took. And you can see it's kind of a bummer here that that's correct on this side, but over here, not so much. So I'm going to get back into the wheel. I'm not going to bore you with all the process of pulling the wheel off and all of that. That's all in the first video. I'm just going to show you the spring and how it's wrong and I will correct it and show it to you corrected and I'll put the wheel all back together. So this is going to be a very short video, but I just wanted to get, I wanted to correct my mistake and I want to make sure that everyone sees that that on the first video that that's in the wrong spot. See how we have our spring attached to this hole here? It should be on this one right here. So, bad Franny. I did look at the instructions because I wanted to make sure that the notch goes on the opposite side of the adjusters or it goes on the piston side. But I missed the spring thing. So, I can quickly remedy that. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this spring off and I'm going to put it on this hole. And do the same thing for the other side over here. So we've got the same issue here. It needs to go on this hole instead of here. And that's all we're doing tonight. So it'll be super simple. Right, I just need to get one side off. There we go. All right, put our spring in the correct spot. And put this one in the correct spot. And the correct spot on both sides. Back in the piston. Easy peasy. And I'm wearing safety glasses because when I take this thing off, it could go flying, spring could go flying, anything. So always want to wear safety glasses when you got these springs and this crazy uh, tension that you're dealing with. All right, there we go. Okay, so we fixed our problem. We've got our spring now on the second pole here, which is where it's supposed to be on this side. And same deal over here. We have our brakes back in. We're all set to put this all back together. There we go, that's the tension I'm looking for in the washer. You know it'll move, but not easily. Yeah, that feels much better. Okay, I'll buy that, tighten that. Spin one of those guys around, there we go. Our rubber cover is next. 
Let's always last. There we go. Okay, so we've corrected the problem, moved our spring out to where it needed to be in that second hole right above the notch. So at this point, I'm just gonna put the wheel back on the car and uh, lower the car back down and go out for a little drive just to make sure everything's okay, but I'm sure it's fine. We didn't really do much but just move the position of that spring. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, even though I messed stuff up. And subscribe to the channel. If you've got any comments or suggestions down below, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get right to them. So until next time, safe travels. Bye.